Hey guys, lovely Jezebel here, and today I'm going to teach you how to be a hot mess. Let's go! And we start off by making a simple frame, a square frame, 13 by 11. So I guess that's not square, that's a rectangle. But <laughs> we start off with that. I'm just using oak wood, cobblestone, stone, and then spruce wood. And then after I defined where the windows are on the first floor, I start working on the second floor by building up the pillars, putting the framework in, adding a little bit of detail. And then this is my favorite part of the build, the roof. The roof in any build is my favorite part of the build because you can just be so extra with it and it'll be great, it'll look amazing. But I decided to use green. I, I, I knew I wanted to use green for the roof, but I didn't know what blocks I wanted to use. I even tried using leaves, but in the end I ended up using concrete powder and concrete. So I used concrete powder for the interior, the, in, the inside of it, and then the concrete for um, the lining of it. But I had a lot of fun with it. It was kind of like finicky to work with because you had to put supporting blocks underneath the powder because, you know, Minecraft gravity. <laughs> And so I start working on the other side of the build. And you'll see that I have to break a couple of blocks from the roof and redo portions of redo portions of the roof because the the detailing of that side of the wall was intercepting with the blocks that were being used to allow the um, sand not to fall. So I had to fix that.
I'm done. Finished it with adding some fine details to the doors and the windows and then the walls. This is what I struggle with the most is the detailing because I don't know what's too little and what's too much. So it's a lot of like breaking blocks until I find what looks right. And of course you don't see that because that's behind the scenes. And then this next build here, ah, I just love it so much. It just makes my heart just like, oh, wow. But <laughs> you'll see why I love it so much. But anyway, we start with the frame, a rectangular frame, simple, easy enough. putting up the walls on the first floor and defining where the windows are, I move up to the second floor slash roof. And this, this is where it gets exciting because I get to use the pink wall. Look how gorgeous that roof is. It just gives me goosebumps. Ugh. But anyways, now we move on to the sides of the building where we put up a wall, we define where the windows are, and we add a bit of detail. <laughs> Okay, so now we're going to be adding shutters to the windows and a good majority of them are going to be all open. Why? Because in my imagination is that it's a nice day, it's warm, it's sunny. The person living in this house wants to get like a fresh breeze rotating through the house. And then I was like looking at the windows because I was after I did those windows, I was pretty much like done. Looks good. Not really, it looks pretty blank, so I was like, let's put flowers everywhere because now the person living in this house is a herbologist who grows plants outside all her windows. And then I was like in a lot of debate of what to put on this side of the wall that I'm working on now. And then I was like, you know what? She's a herbologist. She also like crushes and cooks medicine for the village she lives in so let's put a chimney and then i got kind of crazy with the chimney i was like does this chimney match this building i don't know i don't care it looks cute let's go with it
And then I started getting more into this build and I was like, this lady loves gardening. She loves plants. She loves nature because she's a herbologist. So I was like, let's put some bushes, some overgrown bushes and some vines covering her house and stuff. And then I was like, you know what? She even collects rainwater. So I was like, let's put some buckets out here. And I just got really excited about this build. And I think it's because it has a pink roof, but that's... It's not the point. The point is that I really like this build. And then I was like, you know what? Let's make it look like the chimney is working by adding some smoke. But not just some like regular monotone grayscale smoke. We're talking about like pink purpley smoke because she's m a magical herbologist. <laughs> I hope you guys liked the build. I hope you guys liked my music choice actually because I was pretty self-conscious about that and just just overall I hope you guys like, subscribe, tell me your thoughts and if you're wondering why I was like so all over this pink build it's because it's Wednesday.